Hi everybody, this is Janice, and today I'm going to be doing a video on pocket scrapbooking. Uh, for my friends out there who um, haven't scrapbooked in a long time, maybe at one point they did scrapbook, you know, the traditional scrapbooking, but they've gotten away from it and they kind of want to come back, but maybe it just seems overwhelming. And I, I know it, it really can be, and so I, I understand that. But this whole concept of pocket scrapbooking, not necessarily the whole project life thing, because that could be daunting too, but just having these pockets. Um, in our catalog, we have these four by six portrait and four by six landscape, as well as many other choices. But these two are my favorite. Um, I think they're just really versatile. And so I take pictures with my phone and then sometimes I print them at home and then sometimes I print them from Walgreens. Um, there's all auto way I print your photos, but anyway, that's how I do it. And um, then I just literally stick them in here. And most of the time it's just based on my month because I do it monthly. If you want me to show a video of sharing my album, one of my albums and how I do it on a monthly basis, I can, but not because I think you should do it that way just to show you. Um, because you can do this as minimalistic as you want to. The point is to preserve those memories and get your fo phone, or your pictures off, out of your phone, off your computer, and put them somewhere where you can see them and you can share them and you can enjoy them with your kids, with your family, with yourself. Because it really is a blessing to look at just how good God has been in your life. So let's get into it because I don't want this video to be really long. I'm going to feature this stamp set framework alphabet. Um, it is in our catalog currently. Um, it's called framework alphabet. And our stamps are clear and they're high quality photo polymer so you get a good impression. I'm going to use archival ink. We do sell that in our catalog as well. This is the Ranger one just because this is what I had. I just joined close to my heart so I don't have a ton of supply but anyway that's what I have and it is a little drying but anyway I need to get that ordered and um and just some plain I'm using watercolor paper that I already have in my stash to show you how to stamp them and how to watercolor which I think is awesome that we carry watercolors and we carry water brushes, which is one of my loves in my life. I love my watercolor brushes and I use them a whole bunch. So we're just gonna get right to it. Okay, when I stamp, um, I like to use the little spongy thing that comes in your packet of stamp sets. The stamp sets come in this awesome little envelope that does not take a whole lot of space and you can see through it. And then um, you get this little spongy thing. You don't throw it away. You put your paper on top of that and then you put your um, paper, whatever you're stamping, on top. And then I'm going to use this uh, three by three and a half or three and a quarter, I don't know, it's three, it's Y1002, it's one by three and a half, that's what it is. And I've already got ink on it and that's okay because you can clean it. And I'm going to put July 4th, okay? So I'm gonna start with the Y only because I wanna center kind of like I know where the end of the word July is gonna be and then I need space to put the four so I would picture, I could probably even put the four there. And I'm going to kind of just in my mind picture what this is gonna look like and how much space I need. Okay, and I'm gonna put like a little TH here. So maybe move it over, show you my little process, my little tricks. I've been doing this for a long time. I've been a customer of Close to My Heart for a long time, so I know some little tricks. So this is how I do it to visualize. And I know I'm going to put the word weekend down below, maybe in smaller letters and a different kind of alphabet. And then I'm just going to pick it up like that. 
and I'm going to take my archival ink, which is waterproof. So if you're using watercolors, you know, watercolors are so trendy right now. Um, it's definitely, it's very inexpensive and a great way to get a lot of colors. So I'm going to now um, stamp this down kind of where I know I want it and just kind of press down evenly and then pick it up. Okay, then we need the J-U-L and I'll clean those later. If I have a chance, I'll show you how to clean them. If not, I'll do a separate video on that. Here's our U. I've got some dirty stamps here. And I'm using all caps just because I want to, but this stamp set does have the lowercase letters as well as numbers and period, a exclamation point, and a comma. And so see there, I can kind of line them up. And I tend to not try not to try to do it in you know straight, but if you love things to be perfectly straight, you can, that's doable with these because they are clear. That really rocked my world when I first learned about it about 10 years ago that I could do that. It's just great. So, okay, so now I'm just bringing the pad to the stamp. And I'm going to stamp it down. Okay, and then I'm going to do a little TH and then do um, the stamp set I have is retired a whole long, long time ago. So I'm not going to show you that. I just want you to see the technique of watercoloring. Now with a watercolor brush, you can fill, you fill it up with water right here, you screw it on, so easy. You don't need like a water container, anything like that. I do recommend, let me get my, uh, a piece of paper towel so you can clean your brush when you change colors. So there's that. And then get your watercolors. Okay, and I want it to be red, white, and blue because it was July 4th. And so look how simply I just put it in the little red pan and then you just go to town. And I'm just gonna do all the red. And it dries pretty quickly. And you could do this as neatly or as messily as you want to because it's your project. And then I'm going to use this navy blue and I'm going to come down here and just color it in. That easy. And you could just as just the same. You could do this with markers. You could do polka dots. You could do stripes. Um, you know, you can add whatever other embellishment you want to add to this. Um, you know, I could stamp little stars on this now. But what I do like to do, more often than not, is do little spatters of paint. So I'm going to add a little more water. I'm actually on E here for empty. And I'm just going to take this block here because it's handy and I'm just going to spatter some, isn't that cool? I love that. And then I can go around and I can add a little, um, like ink, inking the edges, but in a watercolory way. You could go all the way around or just leave a line at the top. I could do, um, like little stripes instead. Little diagonal lines. I have to be an artist, right? If you hate that, you can, you know, you can do your own, your own thing. Okay. So I just want to share that with you. And again, we we do have a watercolor set in our catalog. The water brushes come in. This is the medium round. There's a smaller one, and then there's a flat, wide, flat one. So those are good ones to have. And then to clean your stamps, you can use our stamp scrubber and our spritz cleaner. And you just spray, opens up, it's nice, 
um, easy to clean. You just run this under water when it gets dirty. And just rub your stamps and then you put them back on the sheet and you're good to go. And then these, if, you know, if they get really dirty, you can um, run them under water. Okay, so that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was helpful. Can you give me a thumbs up if you liked it? Um, any questions, comments are welcomed. Please say hi if you know me, if you don't know me. Again, I'm Janice and I'm here to help you uh, to um, preserve your memories and um, bless others. Um, if uh, There's a link down at the bottom to my website and you can order all of these products there. And with a $50 order, you will get the stamp of the month for $5 if you wish. Um, a $150 order automatically qualifies for hostess benefits, so you could get $25 in free products. So if that's something you would like to do, let me know, and I would be glad to help you with that. So thanks again for watching. Bye.